Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to continue talking about title blocks. In the last videos we created a standard title block with the key plan and the revision table. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you that if you have custom labels in the title block family, which is a shared uh, parameter, how it's going to show here, right? So for instance, if I go here, this project manager is a custom label which we created in the last video through shared parameters. So when we go to the project, if this does not show, it's because it's a shared parameter but it's not related to the sheet. So uh, let's say here I cannot enter any value for sheet number. What I should do is not only we should have this uh, parameters as shared parameters, but also we should have them as project parameters. So under manage, under project parameters, I want to go with new parameter. I want to go to the shared parameter, select, make sure to select the exact same txt file as before. I'm going to select set number. Okay. This has to be set to instance. And here I want to go to the sheets. See that if it's on type, the sheets won't show. It will only show if it's on instance. So instance sheet, hit OK, hit OK. Now if I click here, this value, uh, I can assign a value. Uh, let's say here, again, I cannot click on this uh, question mark. Same process. I'm going to go to project parameter. I'm going to create a new parameter. Go to shared parameters, select the exact same label from the title block group that we already made. And I'm going to go with set total. This has to be instance. Type S, go to sheets, or you can set sheets here. Hit OK, hit OK. And now this is editable, how many values you have. So you can add the project manager's name here, discipline here, and so on. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is how to add the revision table on a title block. First, I'll go to my view. I'm going to go to sheet issues and revisions. I'm going to go to numbering first and I'm going to go with a custom. I'm going to go to edit and this custom numbering, I want to uh, use DD instead of 123 or ABCD. I'll hit OK. I say OK. And here I'm going to set this to custom. And because I had it as DD, it's going to read it as DD, which in description I want to say is design development. Uh, for the date, I can also assign a future date. So I want to go with 04-13-2025, which is 13th of April of uh, this year, which is when this project is due. Uh, I'm going to leave this on show. Everything looks good. I'll hit OK for now. Now click once on the sheet and then click once on this uh, revision table on the sheet. And then if you scroll down, you see that it allows you to go with revision on the sheet. I'll go here and I want to say yes, show this on the revision schedule. It's going to show it as this date, this revision as DD. I'll hit OK. Now, the only thing I want to change is if I go to this uh, title block family, I want this to be aligned to the center. So I'll go here. I'm going to go to to my revision schedule. And for each of these columns, I'm going to click on it. And I want to go with align center, align center, align center load this back into the project, overwrite the existing, and now they're all centered. So that's how you can add a revision on all the sheets without having an actual cloud. Uh, again, you need to click once here and then click on this schedule, then that icon shows up. Uh, one last thing, in the last video, I wanted this uh, north arrow to be instance, which is in each sheet. You can turn it on or off. I think I made it as a type. You can always go back to, to the family. I want to go to my family types and that no arrow visibility. I want to edit it to become instance. 
load it back into project override existing now in each sheet i can have the north arrow on or off if it's plan i'll leave it on if it's section or anything else i'll leave it off i have the guideline visibilities which i can turn on or off and uh, i also have this work area visibility uh, which we can again have it on or off so it's per sheet these settings uh, that's it for this video thank you so much please like and subscribe for more videos